A warm welcome celebration this week on Channel Television and Bukola Joe Oketumbi. Travelers planning to reach the Nigerian capital Abuja by air from the 8th of March have to fly to the northern city of Kaduna and ride through the major highway linking both cities or join the Abuja Kaduna train service. This is a temporary measure of the federal government as the runway of the Namdi Azikwe International Airport in Abuja undergoes repairs and the terminal will be closed for six weeks till the 19th of April. On this edition, we take a look at the current state of the Kaduna Airport and the facilities put in place as the terminal faces an expected deluge of guests and how this relocation can impact on the economy of Kaduna State. Aviation impacts the economy by providing access to global markets, creating jobs, and generating trade. Here in Nigeria, aviation contributes about 0.4% to GDP, with aviation activities spread across 22 terminals operated by the Federal Airports Authority of Nigeria. One of such airports is the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja, which is closed for six weeks beginning March the 8th for the proposed repairs of its failed runway. While the airport will not be 100% ready, by the time the Abuja airport is shut, it will indeed be suitable enough for operations. You are also aware that repair work has been completed on the Kaduna Abuja route to ensure a smooth, a smooth passage for Abuja bond passengers. And the sun sets temporarily on runway activities at the Abuja airport after 34 years of use. The sun rises on the Kaduna airport as it's now the alternate terminal for local and international airlines. The airport, which is undergoing a massive reconstruction, draws the acting president of Nigeria and other senior officials of government to see the level of work. When the visit is over, the acting president says its work is in progress. But the diversion is a temporary arrangement. So basically what we're trying to do is to just look at the stage of readiness. And um, considering that this is really, um, this has always been essentially a local airport. A lot of work honestly needs to be done to bring it up to the kind of standards that would be required. The work has made considerable progress. Obviously, there is considerable progress, but there is still uh, quite a bit to do. And uh, some of it, we are told, will be completed uh, over this weekend, especially the ceiling, air conditioning and all that, and some of the facilities. So the security facilities are yet to be So we think that um, it will not be in a complete state of readiness uh, by Wednesday, but I expect that within a very, very short period thereafter, it should be, it should at least be in a very usable and comfortable It's not just the terminal that is receiving a makeover, the runway and airspace management here has received a boost as well. At the inception of um, the project, the ILS instrument landing system for runway 05 was um, not serviceable. But as of today, I can tell you that not only have we installed a brand new ILS, we have also calibrated it. We have a calibration certificate from a UK concern. Um, and the facilities for landing, the, like I said, the instrument landing system, uh, comprising of the glide slope and localizer, have been calibrated and they have been found satisfactory. It's like 10 on 10. Uh, apart from that, we also have... Um, guidance uh, called PAPI, which is serviceable. Um, we have the approach lights that actually complement and, and make sure that you have an ILS, because 
if you do have an ILS glass stove and localizer and if you don't have the approach lights that meet the standards, then you don't have an ILS. Um, the approach lights are serviceable. They are of the right caliber and they are serviceable. Uh, we don't provide the approach lights anymore. The fan does and we have checked it out and they are fine. While most local airlines are already adjusting their schedules to make Kaduna the new Abuja, most foreign airlines, except a few, are comfortable with the arrangement. But then, government is giving words of reassurances. Foreign airlines will, uh, well, what we need to be able to tell them is that obviously this is an emergency and this is a temporary arrangement and um, they should really work with us with our temporary arrangement and we're, we're, are con we're as concerned about safety and comfort as they are, you know, and um, they're here also to see for themselves. I'm sure you saw what point of view we So we'll be happy if they work with us. We'll be happy if they, if they see this as temporary and um, cope with uh, some of the slight inconveniences here and there. So we are persuading them that this is still uh, a good temporary arrangement. And some of them are quite happy to take uh, part. All, right. all the things that uh, we need uh, for international operations are on ground. Uh, what is important actually is uh, the safety equipment for the landing of the aircraft. Uh, we have just driven around with His Excellency, the acting president, and we've seen it. The runway is good. The ILS has been installed. Uh, 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 the terminal building will be ready in the next uh, uh, five days. The contractor has been directed by the acting president that he should uh, double his efforts so that uh, the few items of work that is remaining should be completed before the commencement of uh, international operations in Kaduna. While analysts say that the temporary closure of the Abuja airport, the country's second busiest after the Murtala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, will have a negative impact on Africa's biggest economy, many say they are also optimistic that the full repairs of the Abuja runway will raise the level of infrastructure at the terminal.